Y'all walk in. I'm gonna let you guys get. Oh my goodness. Here's your wallpaper guest bathroom. <laughs> I love the wallpaper. I just love it. Perfect. <sighs> Chip and Joanna Gaines started 2022 with a bang when they officially launched their very own cable television Magnolia Network in the first week of the year in partnership with Discovery. This recent business joint venture and the years of hard work they did on cable television, including the very popular TV show Fixer Upper, elevated them to become home renovation TV genre royalty and immensely upgraded their financial status to multi-millionaires. Many viewers are impressed by how Chip and Joanna Gaines have been together for almost 20 years and were fascinated to know that these two almost didn't make it as a couple. Both Chip and Joanna are alumni of Baylor University, but they didn't actually meet there. Chip walked into an auto dealer shop owned by Joanna's father to have his car fixed. There was a photo of her on the wall of the shop, and he knew that he'd found the one. At that time, she was just 23 years old and fresh from college graduation. Her father hired her to do the marketing for them, including starring in their family store local commercials. Chip kept returning to the garage for repairs and gave other excuses, hoping to get a glimpse of Joanna. It took him a while to finally get to meet her in 2001 and land a date after complimenting her on the commercials. He was an hour and a half late for their date, but was so charming that no one could stay annoyed with him. In one interview, Chip declared, I knew I'd marry her one day just by the picture on the wall. However, due to a $50 bet he made with his roommate John, he almost lost his chance with her. Chip and John went out on dates and then decided to see who could hold out the longest in not contacting the girls after the date, which was the reason why he didn't call her for months after their initial date. She wasn't that bothered, because at the time she was more leaning towards quiet men, and Chip was anything but that. He was always talking about the house he bought, remodeled and flipped. She also didn't like him taking risks. However, when he got in touch with her again, they started dating. He said it was like dating a cyborg, because Joanna took a lot of time getting to know him. When he finally said the words, I love you, to her, she replied, thank you. He jokingly said, that was how cyborgs operate. They were married by 2003. Chip and Joanna lived together before marrying, even if it was against their Christian upbringing. They said that they were already engaged at the time, so they just fast-forwarded everything. When one of the rental properties on Chip's list for renovation opened up, the couple moved into the smelly 800-square-foot white cottage. Since they were financially broke at the time, they tapped into their creative spirits and renovated it themselves. She did the design while he did the construction for what they both proudly called their first fixer-upper. Both Chip and Joanna realized that they couldn't live without each other, and so on one date night, he arranged a wedding proposal. She thought they were going to watch a concert in a mall somewhere near his hometown. Little did she know that both of their families were waiting for them. And when they arrived, Chip got down on one knee and asked her to marry him. She was overwhelmed, but said yes, and they were married in May 2003 at the historic Earl Harrison House and Pape Gardens in Waco, Texas. Around five years before Chip and Joanna debuted the home remodeling TV show Fixer Upper, the couple was trying to make ends meet, as they weren't spared from the effects of the housing crisis that hit the U.S. Joanna could vividly remember that they would ask each other back then if they were going to make it, as they were far from being the modern icons of home renovation at that time. As much as they didn't want to be in the same situation again, they both believed that they wouldn't have appreciated what they have today if they hadn't gone through such hardship in the past. After they renovated their own home, it gave them confidence that they could do it professionally together. But they had to start somewhere small. He was already in the business of flipping houses after remodeling them, but far from what they are doing now. They opened a retail store in 2003 and named it Magnolia Market, also known as The Little Shop on Bosque Boulevard. They chose the name Magnolia as it reminded Chip and Joanna of one of their first dates. He climbed the magnolia tree to get a flower to give to Joanna, and it symbolized not only their love, but how it started between them. The Little Shop sold everything a house needed such as decorative items, housewares, and even clothing accessories, and clients would ask her for help with the interior design of their houses. The retail shop thrived. However, time became a factor, 
and with two children to take care of, the couple didn't have any choice but to close the retail store in 2005 to focus on raising the kids properly and expanding the construction business Magnolia Homes. Without the retail store to worry about, Chip and Joanna devoted their time to their family and making sure that Magnolia Homes became successful. After about a decade of buying, renovating, and flipping houses, in 2013, an offer came from TV. HGTV came, to which they agreed, and the reality television show about home improvement and remodeling was born, called Fixer Upper, produced by High Noon Entertainment. They starred in and hosted the series, and while the pilot episode was aired in May 2013, it wasn't until April 2014 that viewers were able to enjoy full episodes of the first season of the series. It met with instant success, with close to 2 million viewers, and it didn't take long before the show became one of the most watched home improvement series on TV, catapulting the gains to fame both in the US and worldwide. Becoming huge reality stars enabled the Gaines couple to build and market their Magnolia brand. They reopened the Magnolia market, but instead of just a small retail store, it was relaunched as a huge retail complex located near the silos in downtown Waco, Texas. It occupies two city blocks and has several shops, including Silos Baking Company, The Old Church, Katie Ballpark, and small stores under the shops at the silos. All the Magnolia businesses can also be found there. Joanna made sure that the items in the store changed, depending on the season. Within a year of opening, reports estimated that around 35,000 people would frequent the complex each week, which made it one of the most visited spots in Waco by both clients and tourists. The Gaines continued expanding their business in 2016, launching product lines for furniture, wallpaper designs, and paint colors. But they didn't stop there. With a lot of tourists visiting Magnolia Market, they opened the bed and breakfast Magnolia House to provide additional accommodation and even published a quarterly lifestyle magazine called The Magnolia Journal. And to share how they did it all, they co-wrote a book entitled The Magnolia Story. In 2017, they only launched one product line called Hearth and Hand with Magnolia, a home and lifestyle brand that they came up with in partnership with Target. Perhaps, almost inevitably, divorce rumors surrounding the Gaines couple started sometime in August 2017. Most celebrities don't address such rumors, but a fan tagged them on Twitter as the rumors continued proliferating on social media. Chip then tweeted that it would never happen to them. For a time, the fans were appeased by his tweet. However, when it was announced in 2018 about the cancellation of their TV show, Fixer Upper, after being on for five seasons, the rumors returned. Most viewers thought that the next announcement they would hear was the filing of divorce. But what they got instead was a pregnancy announcement on Instagram. Joanna became pregnant for the fifth time. They also announced that they were excited about the launch of their new restaurant called Magnolia Table, with most of the ingredients used in the restaurant coming from her vegetable garden. It was such a huge hit as people flocked in. Just when everyone thought that Chip and Joanna's reign on home improvement shows was over, because of the cancellation of their reality TV show, Discovery announced in 2019 that they'd landed a deal with Magnolia that included a cable network and a streaming app to kick off the soft launching of the rebranded DIY network they renamed Magnolia Network. The Gaines produced a four-hour special presentation entitled Magnolia Presents a look back and a look ahead. Chip and Joanna were co-owners of the network and also took the roles of chief creative officers along with Allison Page, who was the head of the HGTV network. They were scheduled to officially launch the network in October 2020, but the pandemic happened caused by the COVID-19 virus, so the date was pushed back a few times. There were reports that it was rescheduled sometime in 2021, thinking that everything would be back to normal but the executives thought it would be best to wait for another year. As part of the deal that they had with Discovery, Chip and Joanna rebooted their popular home renovation show, Fixer Upper, but gave it a new name, Fixer Upper Welcome Home. Instead of waiting for the Magnolia Network to be officially launched, the TV show was made available through their new streaming services so that loyal viewers could enjoy the show again. It was a great marketing ploy to have the viewers subscribe to them who were also given 
advance access to the newest content that the Magnolia Network would provide. The moment it was officially offered as a cable channel, such as Joanna's Cooking Show, Magnolia Table with Joanna Gaines, along with First Time Fixer, Homegrown, and Family Dinner. The Gaines and Discovery waited until January 2022 to officially launch Magnolia Network as a cable channel, saying that it was the right time as the pandemic had been somewhat curbed and vaccination shots rolled out not only in the U.S. but around the globe. Filming was easier as travel restrictions were eased and most are adjusted to what's now called the new norm. Joanna said, At first, we were a little rusty getting back on camera. It was like, what? Where do we look? What do we do? Eventually, the true professionals adjusted well and treated it as Fixer 2.0. The Gaines shared that when they aired the final episode of the original Fixer Upper, they both thought that it was a closed chapter in their lives, never thinking that they would end up doing more certainly not becoming more deeply involved with a TV network and streaming app. All they wanted was a little break from it all, as they had been doing so many things at the same time. Chip shared that he and his wife were too naive when they agreed to rebuilding the cable network, and it didn't help that it happened during the pandemic, but they learned so much from it, and hopefully in the future, they can say that they were successful in running a TV network. While many dream of being famous and successful, some people can't handle the fame when it hits them, as happened to Chip Gaines. During an interview in March 2021 with Oprah Winfrey, in a special show called Super Soul, Chip candidly admitted that he struggled with the fame, saying, I lost the part of myself that was really, it was sad, while his wife Joanna was never really bothered by it, because she was too grounded. He had a difficult time adjusting to it. It took him around two years while filming to fully comprehend how to deal with it, as he tried to see what he'd lost exactly during the process of becoming popular and successful. It took him another year off camera to understand why he was uncomfortable with fame. During the time Chip and Joanna Gaines took a break from being on TV to concentrate on their kids and relationship, authoritative sources estimated that they each had $10 million as their net worth. But that was around four years ago. Even if they weren't seen on the small screen, they never stopped working, and most of their business endeavors were highly successful. In fact, they changed the tourism economy in Waco and many lives in the city too. They converted three of the real estate properties into vacation rentals, mostly booked all year around, and Magnolia Market has had a major impact on their hometown. They published books that sold like hotcakes, and their product lines are a massive success, especially the one partner with Target. Sources now estimate that their combined wealth is over $50 million. Things got even bigger for the couple after making the multimedia deal with Discovery. There was speculation that the Gaines couple was not only able to double their net worth, but multiply it several times. They weren't just back as reality TV stars, but as creative content executives as well. It was reported in 2017 that HGTV paid them $30,000 per episode of Fixer Upper. So during its five seasons, Chip and Joanna made close to $2.5 million. Back on TV in 2022, the appearance fees must have increased immensely since they are more popular than ever. They have creative control over their show, as well as profit sharing with the network's annual earnings. Some analysts said that they could very well end up as billionaires if things go as planned. However, it can get tricky, as it would highly depend on the success of the Magnolia Network and the streaming services. With the tough competition they now have on both cable TV and streaming services, nothing can be guaranteed. But they are now appropriately referred to as at least multi-millionaires. Well, you couldn't say that they haven't worked for it. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.